fast, accurate, and every day. First Defense Weather. A good Tuesday afternoon, everyone. I'm Chief Forecaster Andrew Steenson with a look at your forecast. Well, Jamestown really got pounded with rain yesterday as it just kept on coming and the storms kind of just trained right one after another, leading to multiple inches of rain. I'll have those rainfall totals coming up in a minute, but first I wanted to share a few photos with you from Western New York Storm Chasers. Chasers. This was down on Allen Street yesterday where the rain just came down so fast it pretty much flooded the entire area out and other parts of Jamestown were flooded and, and even lightning struck a pole and put it on fire near the ice arena yesterday. So it was just a very active day yesterday in terms of weather. And when the storms come, usually after the storms go, Mother Nature always provides a rainbow. And this rainbow comes courtesy of Chautauqua Weather today over the Faulkner, Faulkner Volunteer Fire Department. So this was Doppler radar estimation of rainfall totals. And pretty much these totals are actually spot on. Do or Doppler radar estimated about two and a half to three inches of rain fell across the city of Jamestown. And when we, when we look at the official totals from the National Weather Service in Buffalo, Jamestown at the airport ended up with three, almost three and a half inches of rain, which is a lot of rain in a span of a couple hours. We needed rain, we just didn't need the rain to come that fast in a short period of time. Kennedy, just under two and a half inches of rain. Mayville and Fredonia, both over two inches of rain. You see where the rain fell, because if we go over to Cattaraugus County, Salamega only saw about a quarter of an inch of rain, and Olean only about a tenth inch of rain. So all that rain pretty much fell in Chautauqua County, and pretty much fell over the city of Jamestown, and then you got out to Cattaraugus County, and those rainfall totals dipped off considerably. So just a reminder, when you come across flash, when you come across roads that are flooded, it only takes six inches of rain to knock a person off their eight feet, and it takes about a fo foot of rain to sweep your car away. And we got over three inches of rain yesterday. So if you come across a flooded roadway, don't try to drive through that, turn around and don't drown. Here's what's the culprit for all this rain and storms. It's a slow pressure system moving across the pretty much across the state right now, but it will continue moving across the state today and eventually high pressure is gonna build in tomorrow and we should be dry for the rest of the week. And at this point, we need to dry out a little bit. So a few showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm possible this afternoon, not to the intensity we saw yesterday. And a couple of those showers will continue through the night tonight and into the early half tomorrow. But eventually those showers will come to an end tomorrow. And we should go partly to mostly sunny skies through the rest of the afternoon tomorrow with partly cloudy skies overnight Wednesday and into the day of Thursday. Thursday and Friday are looking like mainly dry days. And you'll see that here in the extended forecast powered by Ultimate Satellite Solution. So after we get through today and early tomorrow, should be dry for Wednesday, Thursday, maybe an isolated chance for a shower on Friday, but those chances for showers and thunderstorms will once, agree, will once again increase heading into the week and with temperatures through the end of the week, generally in the mid to upper 70s.